this video, we'll show you the automatic voltage control of the synchronous generator in island operation mode. We will apply different types of complex loads and analyze the system's behavior. Once the communication between the SCADA and the hardware has been configured, actuate the run idle button to start the machine. Machine operating parameters can be tracked on SCADA loggers as the machine starts up. According to the course instructions, and as soon as the machine attains a stable operation, pull out the plugs up and down between the human machine interface and excitation voltage controller. We will start with the resistive load. The load can be connected by pressing the on button at the power switch module. For each measurement, wait until the machine has reached a stable voltage and a stable speed. Adjust the variable resistance to the first value indicated on the course. Disconnect the load between each measurement. The same procedure is carried out for all values of the resistance indicated in the course. Modifying the resistive load does not have any effect on the reactive power supplied, but it affects the torque and rotational speed of the machine. The same experiment can be repeated for the inductive load. Restart the machine in run idle mode. As soon as the machine attains stable operation, pull out again the up and down plugs between the human machine interface and excitation voltage controller. Now, the voltage is no longer being affected by the PLC and individual voltage changes can be better tracked in the logger. Connect the desired inductance by switching the power switch on. Repeat the measurement procedure for the inductance values indicated in the course, disconnecting and reconnecting the load between each measurement in a similar way as you did in the previous experiment. Modifying the inductive load does not have any effect on the torque or speed of the machine, but we can observe that the voltage and the supplied reactive power are affected. Now we conclude our experiments in island operation mode. We've observed the behavior of the microgrid under different types of complex loads. On the next video, we will continue investigating the different control strategies in island parallel generation and grid connection operation.